hear talk of P50 and P90 and P75 when it comes to energy production in renewable energy projects. And we know that there's, you know, with, with wind or with solar, there's a good amount of uncertainty. Um, you know, the wind doesn't always blow, the sun doesn't always shine. And so what we end up with is a distribution of possible outcomes when it comes to energy production in any given period of time, let's call it a year. And when we talk about P50, what we're talking about is that level of energy production that has a 50% chance of being exceeded. Okay, so that's going to be bang in the middle of a normal distribution. 50% chance it could be exceeded. And of course, a 50% chance that it could be less. Okay? And so when we talk about a P50, we're talking about the probability of exceedance. And indeed, Andrew Garrod, who teaches on the Certified Project Finance Analyst course, teaches some of the technical aspects of renewable energy, he invented these terms. So if you've been using P50 in energy projects, you've got Andrew to thank for that. And he could be your tutor um, if you take that course. Okay, so P90 would be a lower level of energy production because it's a, a level that has a 90% chance of being exceeded. Okay, so what we want to be looking at here is if we have these different levels of energy production, P50, P90, and so on, how can we use Excel's normal distribution functions to manipulate that data? That's the focus of what I'm going to be talking about here. Okay, so before we do that, I just want to talk about P value versus probability. So we already talked about the P value being the value with being a, you know, a likelihood of exceedance, right? So P90 has a 90% chance that any given data point will be higher than the P90 value. When we start to use Excel's probability functions, it talks about probability and it's the remaining 10%, right? So probability describes the 10%, the P value describes the 90, and that's really important because we have to take p-values and turn them into probabilities and vice versa when we start to look at uh, Excel's functions and how we might manipulate that data. So that's the first thing to be aware of when it comes to nomenclature. I'm gonna be talking about probability and p-value and those, that's the difference between those. So the probability is one minus the p-value and vice versa. Mm -hmm.